Hey guys, RPM here, hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I'm gonna be talking about how to mine ironfish. All right, this coin is one that's up and coming. A lot of people have been talking about it. it the mining algorithm is Blake 3, so similar to Alethium. So you all may know that this coin will then be a pretty easy, low power coin to mine. All right, similar to like Radiant, Caspa, and Alethium, right? So low power, which is great. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to install the node, get your wallet address. I'm gonna show you guys how to mine in Windows and in Hive OS, and, and as well as talk about different mining software that's currently supported for Ironfish right now, okay? So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. So thank you to HeroMiners.com. They do have a new Ironfish.HeroMiners.com mining pool. And if you deciding to mine with them, you can actually mine on their testnet currently because Ironfish is still on testnet and as of recording, it's about another day and 14 hours until mainnet, okay? So if you guys decide to join on them early, then you'll be placed into their $10,000 airdrop. And as well, if you decide to mine with them after the testnet on mainnet, then there's also a 0% pool fee. They are gonna be taking snapshots uh, from basically April 20th to May 20th. And so here's how the airdrop works. $1,000 to five miners, $500 to another five miners, and then $100 to 25 miners. All right, so these are going to be snapshots that are going to be taken at undisclosed dates spread out between April 20th and May 20th. Okay, so that'll be then $10,000 worth of iron will then be purchased and then distributed to miners on the final day. So that's going to be really cool. All right, so mining at Hero Miners, Ironfish Pool, and Solo will be completely fee-free until May 20th. No reward fees, no payout fees, and no fees of any kind, okay? So you guys can see on Mining Pool stats right now, they're actually top three, okay, at 0% fees right now. So go check them out, guys. Link down below. Okay, so we're going to start with installing the node on Windows. And I'm specifically doing this on a virtual machine. Best practice, in my opinion, when you're going to be installing, you know, even core wallets or simple wallet, which actually Ironfish does not have a desktop wallet yet. They're going to be releasing that soon. So if you're watching this video after the fact, after when mainnet releases, you may check back on their website. They may have the desktop wallet launched already later down the road. So just keep watch of that. Then you don't need to go through this custom node setup, which we're going to go through right now for those that want to start mining Ironfish right now and getting a wallet address and such. So just to touch on real quick regarding why I'm using a virtual machine for this is because best practice in my opinion is not to install core wallets or wallets on a computer that you're using as your daily driver because you don't know if you're going to go to some nefarious website and automatically download some malware or viruses somehow and you know you just want to be safe and you want to install these types of things core wallets node stuff on a separate machine but if you're capable of installing hypervisor like let's say hyper-v esxi proxmox you can do something like this and get started on installing the ironfish node software here and as well as getting your wallet set up here okay so this is where i'm going to go through it right now just to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer there okay so let's begin the ironfish installation i got a fresh install here of windows first thing we're going to do is download the node.js okay it's going to take you to a website here we're going to click on the windows installer alternatively you can do it on mac or on linux but today's video we're just turning you guys the windows one it's going to be probably the easiest way for most people so just finished downloading i'm going to click on the node software here it's going to start installing and then you're going to hit next and we're going to hit accept and then next Next, just keep everything all stock here. Next, I'm gonna say automatically install the necessary tools. All right, I'm gonna hit next, install. And you may get another, we're gonna hit yes here. And there we go, okay? We're, we're not done yet. All right, there's still gonna be a few commands that we're gonna input here, but going along, okay, so it looks like it completed the install. We're gonna hit finish. And there's gonna be another thing that pops up here, another command prompt. And it says press any key to continue. So you're gonna hit any key, so just space bar and it's going to start installing additional tools i'm going to hit yes on this okay so it's going to go through a lot here it's going to take some time probably a couple minutes so just let that go okay and so that took about actually a good like seven minutes for me and so enter to exit we're just going to type in enter now enter okay and that's going to exit okay so now we're going to open up powershell for me and i'm actually going to right click here run this as admin you're going to get this, hit yes. Okay. All right. So, okay. Next step is we're going to just copy this and we're going to paste it into here. 
and then hit enter. So this is the command you're going to run first. Let that go. Okay, and then after a couple minutes, it'll be done. But then you'll want to run this command to update it to the latest version. So we're just going to, we just, all we did was highlight this. And I did a control C, control C, and then a control V, okay, to paste that in. Hit enter. Now that's done after a minute or so. Now we're going to run the Ironfish CLI just to see what it looks like. So just type in Ironfish. And now for some people, you may get this error, okay? Uh, cannot be loaded because running script is disabled on the system. I'm guessing for some people that are maybe running in hypervisors or Windows 11. So to combat this, what you'll have to type in set dash execution policy and then the rest of all this here. Then we're going to hit enter and we're going to hit yes here. Y enter and that should be good. Okay, so now we can type in ironfish and then it'll show up here okay so that's all well and good now the next part is to run this node which is on the getting started here on their ironfish network so but anyway i'll have it linked down below if you want to run through that instead of watching a video so now we type ironfish start okay and this should start running the node and this is actually where we are going to get our address okay so this is the account public address for mine okay we're gonna copy that i'm gonna open up a simple notepad here and I'm just gonna paste it in there. So this is the receiving address for my Ironfish. And then at the same time, it's gonna start downloading, I guess, syncing up the node. Okay, and so that took, I would say a good 30 minutes for it for me to sync uh, the node here. Now, for those that may wanna get the address alternatively, there's another way. So we're just gonna open up another PowerShell here. I'm just gonna open up run as admin for me here. And uh, we're just gonna type in Ironfish wallet and then address. So here is where it should show your public key address right here. Okay, so the very similar one that we did uh, when we start up the node, okay? But you can create another one if you'd like. There are other options here. You type in Ironfish wallet, you know, we can just display the balance, assets, burn, create, um, mint, send, right? Status, transaction, all that kind of stuff. All of these different parameters are here for you if you want to send, all right? So that's that's all well and good. now. Let's show you guys how to mine in Windows. Okay, so we're gonna use my 3070 Ti rig here. It's just only one in a gaming PC, just to show this demonstration. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Rigel or Regal or Rigel Miner. Thank you to actually Mad Electron Engineering. He just did a video comparing the different miners, BZ Miner, SRB Miner, and then Regal Miner here. Okay, so apparently Regal Miner is great, uh, the, or one of the best for NVIDIA cards. And then for AMD cards, it's gonna be BZ Miner. All right, but do your own testing, all right? Do your own research on that. So we're gonna download Regal Miner here for Windows. Okay, so I'm gonna download that. I'm just gonna save it in my downloads folder. Just, you guys can save it anywhere you'd like. Then we're gonna go here. We're gonna 7-zip. We're just gonna extract it to its own folder here, just like that. I'm gonna double click that. Okay, and then next you're gonna right click the iron batch file. I'm gonna hit edit. Okay, and then we're going to edit the mining pool. All right, in this case, we are mining to here miners. Looks like it's here already, but in this case, you guys will probably want to check which mining pool you are closest to, depending on your region. So for me, it's going to be US uh, West. So I'm gonna copy this address here. We're gonna go back to the batch file here. I'm gonna edit this part right here okay or actually this whole thing here copy control v all right so i put in the mining pool that i'm closest to next you're going to want to change your iron wallet okay so this is where this is where you got the wallet earlier that we did earlier in this video so for me i'm just going to copy this and we're going to paste that into your iron wallet just replace that okay just like that next you want to change your worker name so you can call it whatever you like i'm just going to call it 3070ti now this is going to be the more interesting part for most people, which you guys should do, is now the overclocking, all right? So I'm going to show you guys which batch file commands we're going to be using and also talking about the overclocks that you'll want to use on either, let's say, for easiest, just as a general baseline for your GPUs for overclocking to have that efficiency for your GPUs. So in my case, I have a 3070 Ti here, just to show you guys an example. I'm going to click on that GPU. Then obviously, you know, Ironfish is not on hashrate.no yet. All right, I'm sure it'll come on here real soon. But in this case, since it's pretty much the same algorithm as uh, Alethium, all right, we're gonna click on Alethium here for my 3070 Ti, as you guys can see. 
and they have a bunch of different efficient overclocks here. So for me though, I want to run the most efficient possible. So they actually have overclock settings here, but this is where we're sometimes they have the batch file commands here, but in our case here, we're going to have to enter it in manually here. So I'm just going to do that right now for you guys. And there we go. Just like this, there are three different parameters here. Now, some people do ash dash dash uh, PL power limit. You know, I've seen some cases where it does work and where it doesn't work, but uh, you can add this in any way as like maybe kind of like a fail safe. And uh, some people may be wondering, Red Panda, what are, the, what are these numbers here beside the overclock numbers for lock C clock, C clock here, lock M clock and PL, right? This is to index which algorithm overclocks are going to be tied to. So for instance, if you want to add, let's say if you're dual mining or triple coin mining, you can add, uh, change these to two, and these are gonna be the overclocks for the second algorithm. And then let's say if you're triple coin mining, you're gonna wanna change this to three, and then you're gonna wanna change the overclocks depending on which coin you're mining, or you essentially just wanna have all the same overclocks to generally keep the same power limit per se, so you don't see those huge fluctuations like you know with Zilliqa. Maybe you wanna keep the same wattage that's being pulled from your GPUs from mining different coins, right? So it's good to edit this if you're deciding to dual mine. I'm not gonna get into that you know, too in depth. If you guys want me to do another video, let me know. But just yeah, going back here, this is generally what you need if you wanna mine Ironfish directly, but there is dual mining support you know, with a BZ miner and I think Regal miner here has a support for dual and triple coin mining uh, for, you know, a few different coins here. So, so once that's more optimized, I'm sure it's going to get a lot better with Regal, BZ miner or SRB miner. Anyways, going back to here, guys, we're just going to now save this. And I did forget if you're in a more hotter environment, you're probably going to want to add fan dash control. Okay. So this is where you're going to put, depending on your environment, you know, hundred percent fan speed, 50%, 60%, but I'm just gonna leave it on uh, auto there. It's a very low power algorithm. So the GPU shouldn't get hot, but depends on your environment. I just realized I had an error there. Okay, and actually move this here. Okay, so this is what your batch file should look like. Okay, then we're gonna hit save. We're gonna close that. Then we're gonna go double click on our right ad as administrator, right click the batch file, run as administrator. Yes, and there we go. It's gonna start mining iron fish now okay on the test net or actually by the time you guys watch this video it's probably going to be main net okay so there you go that's how we mine on windows all right for anyone that is interested and yeah that looks looks like we're finding accepted shares so that's all well and good okay guys now i'm going to show you guys how to do hive os okay so i'm not going to be able to show amd cards but if you do want to see some amd comparisons some overclocks and stuff check out mad electron engineering He's got an amazing video here just comparing the different miners, BZ Miner, Regal, and SRB Miner. And he's got a few AMD cards that he's testing here. So go check him out. Link down below. Go subscribe to him. Awesome guy. Super smart. I want to now show you guys here for a couple of NVIDIA cards, okay? And we're, we're going to keep note of the current power consumption of a few of my rigs here. I am mining Chlor, Caspa, Radiant right now. But we're going to switch over a few to mining Ironfish, okay? So... How to do that, all right? If you're in HiveOS, most likely for those that have it, it's very easy. We're gonna make a new flight sheet. We're gonna call it uh, Iron here, the coin. It does show up here in HiveOS already, so that's great. Wallet, you're gonna wanna add your Ironfish wallet, all right? Just like that. And I'm just gonna call this Ironfish or whatever name that you guys would like. Hit create. Okay, next we're gonna find the pool. And in this case, we're gonna be using Hero Miners. I'm gonna select the pool that's closest to me and have a backup which is going to be east okay then we're going to hit apply next we're going to choose the miner so since i'm going to be doing this for nvidia cards i'm going to go off the recommendation from mr mad electron engineering for regal miner regional miner whatever setup miner okay so this is where you're going to have to go to setup miner config you're going to want to put in your wallet templates as wallet and worker name is going to go here password x okay normal stuff here url that's going to be the pool just do that now, the extra config arguments, just going to do that in a snap. So very similar with the Windows batch file commands here, except we're going to have to enter these down like this. Okay, if you just be able to copy these from other settings here, 
Make sure that it's set like this. Make sure you remove the spaces. Otherwise, it's going to give an error and it won't mine. Okay, so just make sure there's no extra spaces anywhere. All right, so there you go. I'm going to be doing these for 3070s specifically. Okay, again, using hashrate.no, getting some efficient numbers here for 3070s for Alethium, but it's like essentially the same algorithm, Blake 3. All right, so you guys just choose your GPUs here and you can find the overclocks, even for AMD cards, right? You can find it here for a lithium and you're going to set these numbers here not in actually not in the extra config arguments you're actually going to be setting that in the workers itself okay in amd cards you're going to be setting the off clock, core clock offset memory clock power limit all those settings uh in the web gui not in the extra parameters okay for amd cards but for nvidia cards we're going to be doing it uh within the setup minor config extra config arguments here Anyways, hit save, apply, create the flight sheet. Okay, that's it. Now let's apply this flight sheet to one of my rigs, which is, uh, let's do my 3070 rig here. So I just want to take note here, about 558 watts for the whole rig here uh, in the software. Now we're going to go to flight sheet and hit the flight button for my new Ironfish flight sheet. And that should apply just like this, okay? So now I'm going to start doing it and let's see what the difference is here in one second. Okay, and that's it guys. I had to actually upgrade, uh, update the rig, uh, forced upgrade uh, to the latest Regal Miner. Uh, there was a new update as of recently. And so now you guys can see it's actually lower power consumption. So we were over 500 watts, now we're at 462. So this, this algorithm is really efficient mining Blake 3. So super efficient on this 3070 rig. So there you guys go. That's how you mine it on Hive OS. Of course, uh, dependent on your GPUs, your overclocks, um, different arguments. If you're dual mining and such, right? We explained that before in Windows. You're going to want to uh, do all those special parameters, right? Second algorithm, third algorithm, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you to HeroMiners.com, IronFish.HeroMiners.com for sponsoring today's video. Thank you to them. Guys, go mine to their pool. They're doing a $10,000 airdrop essentially from you mining at their pool, okay? Really huge prizes here for Ironfish, uh, an Ironfish giveaway airdrop here. So pretty awesome. Thank you, HeroMiners.com. And guys, let me know your thoughts of today's video. Good luck. I'll see you in a couple days and maybe a week. We'll talk about Ironfish, see about the update is for those that are mining it and see how it goes and uh, see if it actually shows up on, you know, hashrate.no calculator, see how profitable it is, of course, all that good stuff. All right, my friends, have a good one. Peace out.